What's up? Welcome back to my channel, City Boy Farming. In this video, we're gonna be installing my rain barrel. Having a nice big garden in the city, that can be a hassle on your water bill. That's why I wanna talk about water bureaus. And the importance of having a water bureau is to help you save money on your water bill. Now, as you can see, I have my water barrel right here. This is an old one that I recently had, and I told you how I usually collect my water. It's either gutter or during the winter. I just pile a whole bunch of snow in here. Still got some water in there. So I just want to fill that. You could filter it out, um, but I let it stay in there. You want to have something like this over it or something even better with smaller holes so no mosquitoes can actually go in there and lay eggs or anything like that. You do not want that at all. And down here you got my downsprout. So I'm gonna do something even better because I'm about to get some more water barrels. And the best spot I always like to look is Facebook Market. So let's see what kind of deals they have. All right, after countless hours of searching and searching, I finally found some and I'm gonna show you. Boom, right here, 55 gallon plastic drum barrels, three for 35. I'm like, what? Can't get better than that. So I'm about to take advantage of that. I'm dealing with Facebook market. I'm telling you, you need to be very careful. Know who you're meeting up. Just have a conversation with them. Tell them where you meet. If you want to do a halfway point, do that. But surely I tell you to tell somebody where you at. Don't go nowhere without telling anybody. Or have them meet you somewhere else that's not your house. Anyways, all I'm saying is just be careful dealing with stuff with Facebook market. But is it, it is okay to get things off there. Just... Be careful. That's all I'm saying. Alrighty, alright. So I got them. And I am upset they are not the same color, but there's a reason why for that. And I'm going to show you. But I got my rain barrels. Everything looks nice. I do want to show you that right there. Let me see. If it's going to... You see where it say two? That's a good number. You want a two. A two, four, and I think an eight. I believe for these to be a good number for you to store water in for your plants because that means it's, it's, it's great to use for your plants so the plastic won't have no chemical reaction to your plants or you won't be harmful to you any type of way but yeah um it's raining now and i don't have my rain barrel hooked up i'm a little sad but it's cool though but i'm gonna have these all hooked up ready to go to the gutter so I have my gutter right here, exactly mounted to my wall, and it's good. And as you can see, I tried to do something here, and I was like, no, nah, this got to be level. I got to be perfectly even and all that. So I'm, I'm going to take a hole and just even out this area right here. I'm going to use it. I'm having like, let me see. See, this is all mushy and stuff right here because of the water. I'm going to do it about right here. Start it off. About right here. So I'm gonna like comb all of this out. Not to the wall most likely, but like in front of the gutter. Just comb all this out. And about right here, put some center blocks right here. Because I was gonna use this pallet, but I was like, nah, wood just don't last long like that. Especially dealing with water. Just put some center blocks right here and take advantage of it. So I did get like a little kit off of Amazon and you just drill a hole through here and puncture it in and it collects the rainwater. Oh, let me show you what that looks like. Yeah. But first, let's clean this part off. Let's clean this area off. So as you can see, I'm trying to my I'm trying my best trying to even this out. And whew, it's hard. But I'm getting there. So here's got a little pile that I'm making. I'm just trying to flatten this out. So when I lay the sand down, the center blocks can sit on it evenly. Yeah, I think I, I got what I needed just for this one little spot. Cause in the meantime, I'm just gonna put one barrel right here. As the time go, I'm gonna just spread the, I might spread it that way and turn it. Cause I don't really want it near this wall area as well. Cause this, especially where my jar blew out at. But I do want to go on curving along this, along the side of this wall. But you can see how even and flat I got it. And what I'm gonna do is put some sand down and then lay the center blocks on top. I do wanna show you that I just have regular old clay sand. You know what they use in little sandboxes and stuff. Just gonna pour it in that little spot. 
right, it's got, uh, got it nice and centered the way I like it. As you can see though, I'm just gonna use these center blocks, place it on the sand like that, have the rain barrel connected to this. And then I'm gonna show you the piece that I'm gonna have hooked up inside here. Now it might unlevel over time, but that's okay. As long as I got it level now, <laughs> I'm gonna end up, I'm gonna start upgrading it as much as possible. But the sand is also to help on the impact and absorbing the water around it. And yeah. So let's see if I can get the rain barrel on here. It's gonna be something like this, but I'm not using this rain barrel. The rain barrel I recently have that I want on here is full of water. So I'm trying to figure out what should I do next with it. <laughs> I do not want to. I'm telling you, I might have to pour all this water out, but I'm gonna have it like this. And it's not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Let's see actually, let's see what it looks like actually hooked up. Well, this is the rain beer. I might just pour all the water out. But look at all that water. Look at all that water. So exciting. But anyway, once I do that, I can actually clean all this out because they did have some mosquitoes in there. You can see the water was all the way up here. And I could just pour it out and we can actually test and see what it looks like full. So I could do that. Or I could test to see if the tool actually worked that I got off of Amazon. I apologize. Here, there are kids behind me playing on the trampoline. I should have said that earlier. But this is what it looked like. I didn't got it hooked up, but let's look at how clean it is on the inside. Now we can tell and see if this actually works once I hook up the system. And best part about this, I can hook it up right here and the tool stretch right there. <laughs> and yeah, what you can see is a little unevenness right there. I should have put something flat on top of the center blocks. That's all right. As long as it's, it's not really wobbly like that and it's, and it's stable. Michigan rain bear. Uh, yeah, I might have to do something about this one because this comes and goes. And I got to see if that needs to be replaced or fixed. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Not yet though. So I hook up everything else. So you can see I'm using Earth Minded rain diverter system and it comes with the tools and everything that it needs you got the piece that's inserted inside the gutter you got your grownage you got the tube and then you got the cap to take this off during the winter time to put this on over it so let's go hook it up usually not i did hear somebody say you're supposed to do a three inches but look how close that is so we're gonna make it at least and he did do a five, five inches down. So I'm gonna mark it and put the insert the smaller one inside first, and then for this one and do the same thing. So it'll be even. So let's mark it and then go from there. I meant to show you all the evenness on top as well when the ring barrel is sitting on top of the center blocks. So I mean it's slightly off, but at the same time it's gonna be like that over time. So, but I did mark my area right there. <laughs> So I had the small one on here. Now it's time to do the bigger one. What size is it? Uh, two and one eighth. Two and one eighth. So I'm switching from this piece to that piece. And then I'm gonna mark it off. I marked it off with the smaller piece on the gutter where it's gonna be at. And then I'm gonna have it going down, connecting the tube, and it'll be all hooked up. I meant to tell y'all this. I don't go clockwise. I go counterclockwise. So I'm gonna switch it. And I have it going that way so the plastic won't get stuck inside. Next, you want to squeeze these parts in there. Just push them right in there. Both ends. And it should slide right on in. Water go through there. Water get caught right here. Well, the leaves and stuff get through there. Water get caught in here. Comes out through there through the tube. All right. I didn't put the screws in there yet because I want to make sure this can get turned in and fit inside. Hmm. But now, as you can see right here, I can stretch this out into this piece and just go from there. But I'm gonna put the screws in first and have that hooked up. That was pretty smooth. But when you do it counterclockwise, it don't leave no residue, like no plastic and stuff. So that's what I'm gonna do. Hook it up and we'll be done. All right, got it all 
<laughs> I know this part kind of look ugly, but I got it in there nice and secure. As you can see, that's in there. We're gonna go inside. And look at that. Look how great that is. It's in there. It ain't gonna come out because it's tight. It's like super tight in there. But it's, it was level. I just took the level off. I'll show you. It's level enough. Get you down to where exactly where it needs to be. It, it's in the same. It's in the same position. Just this part. Uh, I feel like I had to go. I had to. I wanted to make this go up just a little more. And I thought that piece go in, but it didn't go in in the back. It's just a stopper. And I wanted this to be up a little more. Versus on the way down. That way the water can actually go down like that. It can go down into the rain barrel. Then next I'm gonna do one under here. Cause I already got, I'm gonna put a little butt right here and then place one on this side where the water can come out once it be filled all the way up. But that's another video. All right, it's the next day and it look like it's gonna storm. So fingers crossed that I get a nice size barrel of water. I'm excited though, cause it rained a little and it got like a little in there. Let's see if I can show you. But it didn't rain like heavy rain though. It's like light rain, it's like this down there. Let me know that's gonna be a good job when it's do, when it do a heavy rain. So, let's get some good clouds coming in. Now nah, I wanted the rain. <laughs> but yeah, all right. Look at that. It didn't really rain like that but we had some snow and it melted and it passed the sprout water spigot as you can see right there it's above it i'm excited so this really works it's a good idea it's a good thing to have very simple i love it uh yeah keep some water still inside this thing it looks a little wet but yeah it's not bad A little slow. Ain't open. But yeah, we got some rainwater. It wasn't all the way above it, but it's getting there. I like it. There you go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's nice. Oh yeah, that's real nice. Let's turn it off now. That's real nice. All right, this is how it's working. We got a little rain. It's a little raining, but it's, it's working. It's doing its job. Now, when we get some heavy rain, it be flowing. It be flowing. I do want to show you this. My rain barrel is literally full to the top, so I got about another joint piece to hook it up to one of these. Going forward to the rest of it. curve into the house or something but yeah this baby work look at that look at that um she see something coming up it's dripping i don't want to lose water but hey i got a lot of it but yeah that's pretty much it if you find this video very helpful please hit that like button also if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button and that bell notification to get notified when i post more videos again this is city boy farming thanks for watching peace Sorry for that choppy ending. It was a little windy, but that's okay. But I just wanted to say that rain barrel diverter is, well, that rain diverter is excellent. It's amazing when it works on heavy rain. And when it works on little rain, it just give you a little drizzle as I showed you in the video below. But now I'm gonna catch in the next video how to install a connector tube to another barrel. And then I'm gonna show you how fast it works during heavy rain. Hopefully I get a chance to do that. But again, thanks for watching this video. Again, this is City Boy Farming. Also, I also want to say that I do have a Facebook page. It's the same name. Just search me on there. Have a conversation. Ask me questions on there. I also have a TikTok and Instagram. All the same name. But for my TikTok, Instagram is just an underscore under, behind City Boy Farming. But like I said, thanks for watching. Peace.